For this activity, we're going to play with scrap coloring. And scrap coloring is a very nice uh, program that you can get. And you can, by following the link here, scrap coloring, if you open that up, you'll get a drop down and it's going to take you there. Now, once there, let me enlarge my screen a little bit here. As you can see, there's many different activities that you can pull up here. Um, you can do coloring pages, all coloring pages, so on. Let's take a look at it here. And you can pull these up and you can actually uh, color them. For example, if I go over to this one here and we'll pull it open here. And you can see on the side here is that you have all of the different options of changing colors and patterns here. So if in this first row, I click the blue. And let's say in this row, I'm going to click a maybe a green. And you can see how it changed the pattern over here. So you can go ahead and just click on one of them and then go over to where you want to place that color. And you can see with my cursor moving around here and just click it and you can see it lays it in. Okay, so <clears throat> here's another pattern here. Let's say we want to do this color maybe for her her skin coloring. And we can kind of play around with one that looks pretty good. Let's try this one here and see what it does. And so you can see that. Let's put that down here also. And then maybe with the hair, we might want to do some black here. And with let's try this. That's all black and gray here. So let's try stars maybe here. And you'll see here, here, <laughs> that looks kind of funny, don't it? Anyway, you kind of get the idea of here of how you can do different things with, with uh, scrap coloring. Let's say maybe she's turning gray here. Or maybe that's a actual, uh, maybe that's a sweater or something here and you want to change the color to blues or something like that and see what that does here. Okay. Anyway, you can kind of get the idea of scrap coloring, but for one thing, I want you to do your own. So let's go back to the start here and let's, let's try, uh, what is it? Color your photos and drawing. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you can notice right here, it wants you to choose from your file, wherever your image is, is that you want to choose, use. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go look through mine. Maybe let's try this one right here. This is a pretty cool picture. This is my son-in-law. So you can see I, I clicked on it and I'm going to ask it to open. And then I'm going to choose submit. And you'll see what it does here in a minute. So it's still thinking about it and, and spinning here. It's going to generate that picture into a scrap coloring activity. And you can see what it did here. So see, that's the image that it came up with. What I kind of learned here is if I choose, so you can see these fence colors here. And they're kind of small to drop your cursor in. But what I learned, if I want them to be, and it's going to look kind of strange here at first. But let's say I just want them to be black. So you can see it will do the whole thing. But what I'm doing is the fence parts I want them to be black so I'm going to go back in and just get all of them okay and that might take me a while every the fence parts that I want black and so on and I'll come back here in a minute without finishing it but I want them to all to be black so I want to make sure that I got colored them in and the reason I'm doing that is because if I were to change it to one color and try to go in there and place the black just in those little small pieces, I'd really have a hard time doing that. So this is kind of a trick that I learned with playing with it is get all your, your very small pieces, the colors that you want, and then you can go back and change here. And in a minute, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, let's say let's want that black too, and that black and this black, and that looks like it's part of the fence there and so on. So now let's say I want the sky to be blue. So I'm going to choose my blue colors. That look kind of cool with that gray. Let's try that one. Okay. So now watch, you can see how it, it put the fence back in 
and that color that I wanted it to be all black. And then I'm going to begin to think about the color of the horse. So he's kind of, he's a sorrel horse, so he's kind of more um, these colors here. Let's choose this here. And we can choose anyone and just begin to fill in the colors that we want of that horse there. Now maybe his shirt part here, we're probably, huh? I think that's part of his face there. So he's he's kind of, he's brown skin, so we can put a brown brownish color maybe there. Let's try this one, not stars. <laughs> okay, let's put that there. Yeah, that's kind of dark. Let's go ahead and fill some of these dark spots in. See what I mean, how small that is? And, it, and if you don't hit it just right, it's going to color all of the rest of that color. Okay, let's think of what else. Maybe he's wearing blue jeans, probably. So let's try a blue jean color here. I kind of like that one. Here, let's try this. It's part of his jeans, I think. Let's think of his shirt. I can't remember what color shirt he had, but let's try something kind of wild here shirt color and part of his shirt say that is too so on and my grass is down below i'm just trying anything here and here's some of them small pieces again okay okay so once once you get everything filled in then what I want you to do is get your snip and sketch, okay, and take a picture of it. So I can see I already had one on here, so I'm going to choose new, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight it, the areas that I want. This didn't turn out to be a very good picture here, but there it is. I'm going to ask it to save, and that's this one, copy, and then I'm going to drop it down. And I'm going to come back to our slide presentation for this class, your assignment. And you can see I already pasted one in here. But I'm going to go ahead, and this is Anne's, and I'm going to delete it out there later. So I got my copy, so I'm going to do Control V, and you can see that it pasted it in. And then what I did actually is I went back, and this is the one I did previously, but I actually did my, 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 my uh, scrap coloring there and I pasted it in but I also pasted the original picture in so that's what I want you to do for this activity I'm going to go ahead and delete hers out there and so you want to go down and you want to find your name you want to go to use this link to go to scrap coloring and let me go over it again okay so go to scrap coloring at scrap coloring you want to choose color your photos and drawings and then you want to choose your photo and hopefully you have some now if you want to you can get one off the internet too okay and I'm not for sure you're gonna probably gonna to have to copy that and save it from the internet copy and save it to your folder your where your pictures are and then upload it okay just out of curiosity, I want to see what this one does here. This is me, one of my horses. So I'm going to go ahead and open and submit. And it's going to take a while for it to generate it. And we're going to hang on. There it is. Oh, I don't know for sure if I like the way that it did that one. Let's go back and look. See, it did mostly black. So I would probably choose a different one because where it's blacked in here, I'll show you, it won't change the color. So all of the black areas are going to remain black. Unless I did that wrong. So, and you want a little bit more color than that. And maybe it's because I didn't choose the photo or drawing with several colors. Because you can see here, it just says black and white drawing. So let's try it again and see if that does make a difference. So that's the picture. We're going to go open. And let's click on photo with drawings and see if it makes a difference here. And it's still generating it. And 
let's see if it, oh yeah that made a difference so you want to make sure that you do it with the color that's kind of a cool one isn't it hmm that'd be interesting the only thing about this if i did my sky color it's going to do my shirt and everything that color let's just take a look and see what it does okay let's see that oh yeah but that might be interesting once it's all done so go ahead and follow my directions that i gave previously and begin to do it and copy and paste yours to your picture along with the picture that you used for your scrap coloring